Hey guys, Harry here, back again with another Brit Lane vlog. It is Wednesday today, we are on a boundary wall footing. Uh, it's a fucking absolute ball ache of a footing though, this one. It was one course of trench, two course of brick. Uh, it was a pretty long boundary wall, it was about three full size panels, and about half a panel. Um, you know, <laughs> it was a day's job, well, not even a day's job, it was... Uh, we got to a site which I don't think we were uh, down for going to on this particular day and they didn't have anything ready for us. So we had to wait until about 11 o'clock to have basically everything, have this you know footing pinned out for us. We got there at about quarter past eight, so an early one. And uh, all we were able to do is spend about probably half an hour loading out, if that, because there's only about 300 bricks in it and about 30 odd 40 odd blocks so you know it was a bit of a you know it was still a you know we still got a full day in like but it was just a bit of a slow one uh it's been we've not had a day like that where we hadn't laid a brick or laid anything while basically 11 o'clock so we, we haven't had a day like that since probably january uh back after we came back after christmas you know with the, with the weather it's sort of a normal thing that happens in winter. You sort of don't get started till about 11 o'clock a lot of days, you know, in the dead of winter when it's really, really cold. But um, today we just, uh, you know, we were just at, we were just on this to keep us going. So I was pretty happy with what we got done. We worked from, we had an early snap at about 10 o'clock and worked all the way from 11, well, 4. And, uh, and yeah, it was... Uh, yeah, it was a, a good day, a good day to be fair, got it all done in day, a ball ache of a wall, I hope that I get to do this, uh, you know, above DPC, so I hope I drop on this one, but then again, it has a, has a squint between every pillar, so uh, every pillar and panels a squint, so I managed to get the last two, uh, big, big, the well, last two bigger panels, uh, I managed to get uh, a pillar and panel, you know straight and then a little squint and then a pillar and panel straight and then the pillar was on a slight squint because the sign engineer who pinned it out just pinned out the corner of the pillar instead of the the angle of the wall so they sh should have pinned out the nine inch wall not the pillar so he pinned out just one corner of each pillar whereas he should at least pinned out two corners of each pillar and then uh, it would have then it would have you know you'd have stopped you getting your pillar on uh, you know the wrong orientation so I got one of my pillars on a slightly wrong orientation and then the wall in conjunction to that was uh, was slightly off uh, angle uh, just because he didn't he didn't pin an angle he just pinned the pillar or the pillar on one on one corner so uh, I did pretty well considering I had to basically set it all out and get all the angles right for it to work, you know, 18 inch pillar and nine inch wall tied in. Uh, so I'll be able to tie in uh, three of the pillars. So for, sorry, I'll be able to tie in all four of the pillars with a, with at least one panel. And then they'll just be the last big, the last big, well, one of the last full size panels uh, as a squint at each side. So I wasn't able to get a parallel pillar on, the, on that one. So, It'll be just one where I'll we'll have to stick ties out and build that, uh, and build that panel in afterwards since it's on a it's on an angle and we can't tie those in. So one wasn't on too much of an angle, which can be tied into the pillar, and only one of the panels will have to be built with wall ties left out. So it's always nice. I like to tie in all my all my nine inch walls to the pillars, uh, but obviously the angle dictates whether you can tie it in or not, uh, or it gets to the point where you have to cut every brick on a tie in. So. I think I'll end up having to cut a few bricks anyway when tying in the squints um, on the, on one of the on one of the pillars. If I end up taking over this wall uh, in a in a week or two's time when the uh, when it's ready to be built, and then um, and then it'll be just uh, then it'll be just you know you know a little bit of time cutting squints. You know we get compensated for the you know cutting as angles because I use my own disc cutter and obviously cutting you know 20 23 cutting like 50 cuts for one panel you know it really wears down your blade so if you're cutting like 50 60 70 cuts 
you've got all the wear on your on your machine, you know, on your your power tools, and then the wear on the blade itself. So, uh, you know, the compensation covers for the blade. So, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, this particular bit of work, you know, it's, I like laying bricks on the on the foundation level. It's easy. You get to do the pick and dip. Uh, you know, uh, your work hasn't just got it. It just hasn't got to be as neat. It's it's just a fact of life. You know, it's got to be a gauge level plumb, but it's not face work. All this will be hidden. Um, old man did a good job at pointing. I kept my blocks a bit cleaner this time. Uh, I was a bit more wary. Uh, but the gobbo today was fucking terrible. Uh, it was like really cemented, bottom of the barrel stuff. Uh, you know, no matter how wet I got it coming out of the silo, it was just solid on board. So I was knocking it up all the time. Uh, and I've just fed up of these bricks, man. I'm fed up of these fucking frog bricks. Uh, but on this site in particular, they're in... They're in, with the gangs that's on here, they're in enough work to give me a to for them to give me a full pot to myself. They're just in enough on this site at the moment. Uh, I'd like to get settled on a different site, really, but there's a few walls to go out on here, and I ain't got much left on here to be honest. I ain't got much, many weeks left, uh, many weeks uh, work left. I've been jumping to other jobs, doing a bit of remedials on the other days this week. It's been a bit of a mixed week, really. Uh, I've did one day on this job, finishing my wall on Monday, uh, doing the tile brick on edge, and then we've gone to did some remedials yesterday and got uh, fucking quite a lot done. And then there's still some more to be done uh, on that site. A couple other houses need some remedials doing. So probably another day's work there tomorrow. Then I might be back here on Friday to do another panel of boundary wall. But, you know, it's just bits and bats, really. There's nothing really to get my teeth stuck into, but obviously there is a shortage of bricks. On, uh, on a lot of sites now, you know, a lot of guys are claiming that they're gonna have to move sites because of the lack of materials. So it's one of them It's one of them things. Luckily, I don't obviously use much more than a pack of bricks every day, you know, 500 bricks, you know, maybe 600 on, six, 700 on a good day. You know, you basically a pack of bricks and you, you know, you've got a day's work uh, in front of you. So I can more or less keep myself going, uh, easy, you know, you know, easily enough. I won and one today with old man, but he were really struggling. I don't know what it is about footings. He just, even though he didn't really have to do much today, I loaded a lot of it out this morning when we got there. You know, we're just struggling. Uh, hips, his hips hurted him, so I'm really looking for some, an apprentice or a labourer full time. Uh, pretty much in the next couple of months at least, because I'm not so fussed at the moment with it being having a bit of a slowdown with all this lack of materials, but. Uh, in the next, probably in six months at least, I'm going to need someone because it's just, he's struggling, bless him, he's, you know, he's 64 and he's uh, he's struggling to keep up, you know, we're getting, you know, we had everything load out, loaded out, but I was still getting my own gobble at times uh, just because he was just struggling to even, he couldn't even point up these two cores of brick, he was just couldn't, couldn't bend down to do it, he was struggling his head off and you know, I think a lot of his, you know, his struggles are self-inflicted with these. The way he does stuff, it he makes it really hard for him, son. And I tried to tell him, look, don't bend down to do a bed joint when you could just do a perp. You know, just don't bend down to do something when it's going to aggravate you. And he's stubborn old bloke thinks he's still fucking 25 sometimes. And I just said to him, you've got to do what you can do and don't fret about what you can't do because it's out of your hands. Uh, so I said, make life easy for yourself, you know what I mean? You were filling in the tops of these bricks when we finished with a pointing trowel. I said, what are you doing that for? You need to be using a big trowel, just slop it in. I said, there's going to be another course of brick on top of here. No one's ever going to see what you're doing. And, uh, you know, it's just that age-old stubborn mentality how some people think just because they're, they're making it hard for themselves, it's better when it isn't. You, you don't need to make it hard for yourself. So that's my trouble, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with... You know, you know, my labour and my dad, he, he, he's struggling. I'm not struggling with him, but he's struggling. And uh, in turn, that makes, you know, my job a, lot, a little bit harder when I'm having to, you know, keep picking up the slack a lot of the time. And I feel sometimes guilty when I start proper r rallying into a wall and proper hitting it. I feel I feel a bad that he's absolutely getting, you know, he's getting the shit knocked out of him because he can't, he just... It, can't keep up really, do you know what I mean? He can't keep up with the pace I'm working at, so it knackers him out. And although I do a lot of the, I do all the organising, not a lot of it, all of it, and getting all the gear there, it's still, it's, it, I think it still struggles. 
Uh, so, uh, but you know, it, it depends what mindset you're in. You know, I have a firm belief if you're a grafter, you're always going to be a grafter. And if you're, you know, a bit of an hypochondriac or, you know, one of these who's a bit of a defeatist, always defeatist, you know, it, you know, my dad's a bit of a defeatist. He's defeated before he, he's even started. And that's one of the mindsets that it's just how you, but I think it's how you're born. I've never been in that mentality. I'm always hyper, I'm always hyper optimistic, to be honest. I always think that, you know, a good day can, is just is every every day is can be a good day if you make it that way and that's the sort of mindset I bring to every job. So uh, also on this uh, on this obviously on this footy I'm using the fixed brick. You know highly highly handy for doing this sort of thing. Um, obviously you saw a little clip of the fixed brick moving uh, earlier. You just gotta keep your eye on it. You know top and bottom of it. You know it's just one of them things you keep your eye on it. If you're just clamping onto one brick, stick a bit of weight on it, you know, you, you know, sometimes you just can't beat a brick on top of a brick to hold the brick, you know. The fits brick, the fits brick is great, it holds your brick perfect, holds your line perfect, but it's, it still needs that weight on that brick, obviously, if you're just pinning onto one brick, so. Uh, and as well, to take the weight a little bit off the off the actual brick the fits bricks uh, sat on, try pinning to, like, say, your block or the concrete or something solid instead of actually just leaving all the weight pulling on one brick. Uh, use your fits brick as more of a tingle I find is a lot easier to do and uh, it's something that yeah, has made you know these particular footings I thought this was going to be a course of block and a uh, five course of brick but they wanted this left two course lower than the house and then I forgot the blocks are 225 not 150 so you know if this had been a four course footing it, you know it would have been a lot would have been able to get us uh, we'd have probably had a bit more. We'd have we'd have had a bit more work to do today on it, and uh, you know we'd probably st stuck another day out on this site. Maybe dropping on something else, but with it being just two courses, it's, it's not worth bending over for two courses. These two courses that you're doing at hardest too, probably anything above. Basically, your first, your first. This was two. This was all, your first six courses. Your hardest. So one more on top of this, and then you'd have been at sort of ideal height to start really smashing them in but at this height you know this bending height you, you're almost as slow as you know reaching up in in a sense so yeah so that was today that was today you know very a bit a bit uneventful but we still got a day's grafting and it was uh you know still earned some money so anyway guys thanks a lot for watching i hope everyone's enjoyed if you want to watch last uh, yesterday's brick lane vlog it was under the after eight tool review it's just my face it's not me laying bricks but if you want to you know a bit more of a brick lane vlog style of video um you know watch tomorrow's you know yesterday's as well as today's because that, that didn't get as much love from from the viewers so uh, just check it out i went into some details you know a bit of a bit of my past experiences so um yeah uh, and a few a, a couple i got one comment uh, and i've had a few comments we got questions uh, if you want me to make a questions and answers video, just leave a, a, a comment or a question in the comment section uh, and I'll get back to you. Either I'll leave you a comment replying or I'll just like it and say, oh, I'll reply to this in a video. I'll add a lot of them to a list and then I'll make a dedicated Q&A whether you want me to do it in this style with Brick Lane vlog footage or I can do it with voiceover with my face, like a normal blog vlog so yeah anyway guys thanks all for watching if you enjoyed click the like button help spread it out on the tubes and uh, subscribe for daily content uh, hit the notification bell and uh, leave us a comment and let us know what you think all right guys have a good uh, have a good night we've only got two days till the weekend so anyway guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you next one all right, today's job got started at 11 o'clock uh, you know four panels of yeah, three and a half panels of boundary wall set out put, they put one pin where every pillar was not two just one so i've got I've got this one right that one right and you can't really see but that fucking last one staggered that pillar's in twist you can see <laughs> almost right good enough or better than I come on, I come again. Four o'clock, time to go.